Hey friends, welcome to Stocks and Crypto Plays. I hope you're having a beautiful day today. I'm in a great mood. AMC's looking strong. They had us in the red earlier in the day and we finished in the green above $4. That's very bullish. Um, as far as the inflows, outflows, there were like, I think like $3 million in the red today, barely. And we still finished in the green as far as the stock price. So the shorts are showing that they don't have much liquidity right now and they don't have much power right now. And why is that? Well, did you watch my video on Evergrande? They collapsed. They filed for bankruptcy. You can go on my channel and watch that full video. Um, basically, what that means is potentially someone's been margin called, and we think it is Citadel. Okay, I mentioned that in the video. Um, so watch that full video. You're going to see what's going on. It's in my channel. Okay, three things. Three things right now on AMC. Okay, uh, the first thing is the plaintiffs um, that are suing AMC are not. Um, trying to block or reject or challenge the Rose Isso uh, appeal. They're not trying to block that. So that's another good thing. That's another win for us. Uh, we have a few days left. So this emergency stay request by Rose Izzo and her attorney, Kitla, that it may come down later today. It may come down Monday or Tuesday. We're going to see. We're coming right down to the wire, and it's very exciting. So that's one thing. Another thing, the AMC dividend. Have you heard about this yet? So nobody knows if it's true or false, but people have been posting on social media from Fidelity that they're going to be getting an AMC dividend. If you have a Fidelity, I don't know if that's true or not. If you know anything about it, comment below. But how could AMC pay a dividend? They can't do it. They're not in the position to do a dividend. So I don't know why is that rumor going around right now. Um, okay. Um, the third thing that I want to talk to you about uh, with AMC is the um, threshold list. So basically... From what I can tell, we're like four days away from the record where GME was on the threshold list for 45 days. Then they short squeezed over $200. AMC is at 41 days on the threshold list, which is the non-compliance list, which means they have shares that they have not returned yet. And those uh, buy orders have not been reconciled yet. So we have some real uh, potential power there. Now, many people believe the fails to deliver list won't create any type of urgency and no one will be held accountable. I fully agree with that, but there is some hope that it has some kind of pressure because we did see GME short squeeze from that. We did see Overstock short squeeze from that. We did see um, Volkswagen short squeeze from that. So, you know, we're going to see what happens. This is definitely historic. Like I said earlier, short um, shares sold short are its highest levels ever on AMC. Cost of borrowers over a thousand on AMC. Also, we have a record of two hundred and ten million dollars um, borrowed uh, from AMC uh, share flow. Uh, this is crazy, crazy numbers. And I know the price action seems boring. It does, but often this happens. Often stocks will go down and be flat and stagnant and then go down, flat, stagnant, go down. And then all of a sudden you see this massive skyrocket candle. It's manipulation, it's mind games. We don't know what's gonna happen, but we have to play, pay close attention. Okay, so I talked about the AMC dividend potential rumor. Um, I talked about the Evergrande um, and um, the threshold list. Okay, guys, so... Uh, I also brought up to you the newest uh, information to where the plaintiffs of AMC are not going to challenge Rose Izzo um, appeal and her emergency stay request. That's great news. Now, if we get this stay ordered by the judge, psh, it's game on again. AMC runs. It's game on again. This a Delaware Supreme Court is going to make a big difference in our accounts, friends, Okay. So hit like, hit subscribe, and notification. Share the video with a friend. Oh my goodness, I almost forgot one vital piece of information. Guess what, guys? Citibank has put out a new price target of $1.51 for AMC. Really? Citibank? Really? The ones that created Ape? The ones that were paid to crash AMC in Ape to help cover the shorts and to help cover their positions because they had no shares to buy. So they had to crash ape and they had to crash AMC. And now Citibank is putting out a $1.51 price target. And by the way, Citibank has open short positions on AMC. Yes, you heard me correctly. Shouldn't that be a conflict of in interest? How does Citibank put out a price target of $1.51 for AMC when they currently have open short positions on AMC? That's market manipulation. 
Who's gonna protect the retail investor? Can anybody stand up? Uh, so I want your thoughts on it, guys. This is our team here. We work together. I read the comments. Um, everyone else reads the comments in our team and we work together. We create synergy, right, friends? So before I uh, shut down the video for now, I want to say we're at $4.04. We finished up $0.04 cents during hours, down $0.04 cents after hours, but it's okay because we finished up during the day. 50 million shares traded already and we still have about an hour and 40 minutes in extended trading. Average volume, 50 million. Volume today, 51 million. 52-week high of $14. 52-week low of $3.18. AMC target price lowered to $1.55 by Citibank. That was a new Market Watch article. Basically, in that, they said uh, they lowered the price from $1.65 to $1.55 Friday and maintained its sell rating with rapid spread of COVID-19 globally. Really? That's old. That's over with. Movie theaters have been forced to shut down in many countries, wrote Citi. And I know, as a result, the box office remains below pre-pandemic levels. Barely, given the proliferation of multiple streaming services. No, no. People are going to movies. We've proved it. Barbie did a million, a billion with a B. Barbie, a billion with a B. Come on. Give me a break. Oppenheimer, 500 million. Are you kidding me? People are going out. Uh, AMC set records. They had their highest revenue a month in their entire 100-year history. This is a FUD article. Don't let it shake you, friends. Um, let's see. To arrive at our target price, we continue to assume AMC pays down its debt by issuing equity at the midpoint of the market value of the ape units and AMC common stock, wrote Cities Bazinet. This implies AMC share count grows by over 100%. AMC shares fell 0.04 Friday, while the ape rose 1.8%. What a FUD article. F-U-D. Fear, uncertainty, and doubt. These guys are masters at fear, uncertainty, and doubt. Stay strong, friends, okay? Stay strong. I'm not telling you to buy or sell. I'm telling you to stay strong to your convictions and don't let anyone scare you out of what you hold. If you want to sell, that's fine, but don't let anyone scare you out of doing it. Make your own decisions. Be strong. Um, and you know these articles are, are ridiculous, right? Because Citibank has open short positions on AMC right now. So that's FUD. All right, hit like, subscribe, and notification. Share the video with a friend. Tell me what you think about all this and everything I just told you. I want to hear your feedback. I'm going to read it. I want to know it. Talk to you soon. Have a great day.